Hey everyone, welcome back to Paintastic Arts and in today's tutorial video we are going to paint this beautiful green valley. The medium that I'll be using is acrylics on canvas and the details of all the materials is mentioned in the description below. I'm using a thin canvas board and with that I'll be using acrylic colors as mentioned before. You can quickly take a screenshot of the colors that I'll be using. We start off with some color mixing. Over here I'm going to make a perfect shade of sky color and for that I'm going to use white, cobalt blue, Prussian blue and to add a tinge of grayish tone to the sky I'm going to add some black. Alternatively, you could just take a light blue color and use that. I'm using more of white because we need to make this color in the lightest shade possible. Let's start applying. I'm using flat brush number 2. And I'm going to cover the one third part of it with this color. After this, I'll thoroughly clean my brush because with the same brush, I'm going to add some clouds in white color. Let's start applying. I'm using flat brush number 2. In a small circular motion, we are going to apply this white color. Try making this a little thick without using water. Thoroughly clean the brush once you are done. Next up we need a darkest shade of olive green and for that I'm going to mix olive green with some black. I'm going to use the same flat brush but hold on the thinner side and make some short strokes. We'll be needing some raw amber color too. With the same brush, I am going to color the background in black and in raw amber. As you all can see, I am not making the background extremely dark and hence taking very less color on my brush. Giving some cloud finishing once again in white. Since the previous layer of white has now dried, and we would like to make a thicker layer of cloud now. Next up, I'm adding some dark strokes with the help of zero number brush on the surface of this mountain. Making some short and long strokes so that the trees look natural.
for that i'm going to mix some darkest shade of green with black and also use some olive green so we make a line and put some dots around in the shape of pine tree but make sure the dots are overlapping making some different shade of green with the help of yellow green and some olive green and viridian we just need to make sure over here that there is a lighter shade of green on the background so that we can make pine trees in the darker shade so that they are visible adding some more strokes for pine trees I'm recoloring this part in a lighter shade of green because uh, since it's dark my darker shade of pine tree won't be visible also don't make these pine trees in a same height so that they look more realistic For the lake we are going to create the lightest shade of olive green and for that I'm going to mix more white with just a little bit of olive green. This will be my first layer for the lake. Let's apply and let it dry. I'm adding a tinge of viridian but still keeping it very light in shade. Once this layer is completely dried 
we are going to use brush number 0 and with that some white to create waves make short wavy lines on this dried layer For stone, we are going to use the same raw umber color. Make sure you are using very thin layer of white color and it's not visibly darker shade of white. Add some white on the top of it, darker color at its bottom. We create houses with the same colors, white and raw umber. Add how much ever minute details you wish to. And now to give it a beautiful natural aesthetic look, I collected some pieces of dry stems. If you wish to create a frame with these stems, make sure you are using a straight stem. And with the help of glue, I am going to stick these stems. On the top, I am on the top, I'll stick a thin rope. And this is how it looks when we cover all the four sides with a stem. Similarly, with the help of these stems and some rope, you can create a window. The frame looks really very beautiful. And I really hope you like this quick and easy tutorial. For more such videos, do subscribe to my channel, Paintastic Arts. Thank you.